The UK government has announced a new initiative to improve the nation's physical and mental health. It says absences from work due to ill health cost the economy around £100 billion a year. And today's Neil Woodrow brings us the details. We are always encouraged to get moving and keep our weight down. Lockdowns have made this task harder. Additionally, obesity has been shown to negatively impact our ability to deal with COVID-19. The UK government on Monday announced a new office for health promotion to improve the nation's physical and mental health. The World Obesity Federation recently released a report that looked into the links between COVID-19 and body weight. It says increased body weight is the second greatest predictor of hospitalisation and a high risk of death for people suffering from COVID-19. In those countries where overweight affects only a minority of the adult population, the rates of death from COVID-19 are typically less than one-tenth the levels found in countries where overweight affects the majority of adults. The president of the Federation told me obesity has become a very significant health concern in the UK today. Uh, when I trained as a medical student uh, more than 30 years ago, only about 7 or 8% of the UK population would have been classified as obese with a body mass index above 30. That is now approaching 30%. The pandemic lockdowns have negatively impacted people too. The daily public transport commute disappeared. What we have seen from the data is that people um, in their daily lives are perhaps less active uh, than, they, than they should be uh, and, and less active than they were previously. So that will certainly contribute to obesity. And increase in comfort eating has also been reported from his clinical patients. And according to Professor Wilding, the heavier you are, the greater the risk from COVID. The risk of ending up in intensive care is about three times higher for people with severe obesity, a body mass index over 40, than it is for someone who is, who is uh, lean. Even for those not obese, he says, we know that physical fitness has a big influence on the immune system. He says public health campaigns before try to educate people about healthy diets, importance of physical activity and intervention with children. But sadly, most of these at a public health level don't seem to have impacted this inexorable rise in the prevalence of obesity that we've seen in this country. He said what is important is changes to what he calls an abnormal environment that has led to the obesity epidemic in the first place. That is going to need a lot of quite serious engagement uh, with the food industry and also thinking about things like town planning, about how we can make it easier for people to, uh, for example, commute in an active way or m do more walking and cycling to get around the, the towns and cities that we live in. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said on Monday the new Office for Health Promotion will be crucial in tackling the causes and not just the symptoms of poor health and in the improving of prevention of illness and disease. The government says the new office will be established by the autumn. Neil Woodrow, NTD News, Epsom, Surrey.